a nine. That's a problem, too, because you got enough people telling her she's a 10. So half of them acting that way. And by the way, the ones that ain't acting that way still require more from you than what others might. And so you got to be up on your game. I'm over here in the hospital, y'all. Finna give birth to his child. And he over here questioning me, talking about, is this really his baby? Like, what are you talking about? Do you really think I'm seeing her have you up here at the hospital and everything with me just for nothing? Are you serious right now? What kind of baby dad does that right when we finna have this baby? Like, are you serious? You really gonna sit here and question baby talking about, oh, can you get DNA tests? No, you're not getting no DNA tests after this. I'm not doing that. What's <laughs> good, good people? Lowe's right here. The two bullies. Uh, yeah, I'm saying. Guess who's the sack? Still smelling crack in my clothes. Hey. Don't let me relapse on these hoes. Relapse on you hoes. The summer is coming. <laughs> the summer is coming. Don't get relapsed on. <laughs> yeah, I mean. God damn. Hey, listen, we were having some technical before, difficulties, man. Y'all can keep man. the hoes. Y'all can keep the hoes. As we said before, mm -hmm. you know, you got our, you you getting all the male holders, holes attentions now. Holes gonna be holes. Yeah, holes gonna be holes. Yeah, it don't, don't mean I want them. Hey, <laughs> that's what they all say. Hey, hey T, ask them. Or, or, can they hear us? Uh, can y'all hear us? Okay, put in the chat if y'all can. Put hear in the chat us. if you hear us, man. Yeah, you know I'm saying we need to know. We have some technical difficulties. Can y'all hear me? Ooh, all right, there we go. All right, there we go. Is that is that quick in the Thank building? Thank y'all for waiting. We appreciate it. What's up, good hey, people? Hey, oh, <laughs> boogie in the building. <laughs> yes, so. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank yeah. you for being so patient. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. We had some technical difficulty. Yeah. We're here. And yeah. now we're here, yeah. man. Yeah. But we're hearing that. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, hey, hold on, hold on. Shall we get like the introductions, man? Of course, sure. everybody know. Los up in the building. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To the right of me, got my man over here. I'm just CJ. You know, I, I do a lot, but I don't do the most. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And, uh, and over here, we got, we got Honey hey, Dip. A.K.A. Honey Sriracha dip. Habanero. <laughs> <laughs> Hot Sriracha oh, Habanero dip. sauce. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hey, listen here, Taco Bell. We don't need y'all stealing this shit. Yes. Right? We will sue. Exactly. We're coming at you. You're like now a cease and desist from this joint podcast. Yeah. We need you to shut that shit down unless you're gonna give us a cut. God and ours damn. don't say cease and desist. It, ours say we coming for your ass. So we, yeah, we mean, mean business. I mean, God damn oh man. Uh, as I said, well, I love Tuesdays, man. Tuesday nights, man. I'll be looking yeah. forward to Tuesday nights, boy. I love Tuesday nights. Because yeah, they man. get to be bullies towards me. Oh, so y'all have victims. no idea what I go through behind the scenes. That's for you. <laughs> special victims unit. There we go. Oh, man. Yeah, man. That's be special bullshit unit. That's be you <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yo, that bullshit, that bullshit unit over here, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. hey, listen, welcome to District on Podcast. As usual, we got a great show for you cats tonight. We want you to sit back, enjoy the show, have a laugh or two with us, watch some videos. One full hour, we got your attention. Sit back, hit that like button, like, subscribe, subscribe, comment, subscribe, comment, definitely comment, yeah. and sit your ass down. Sit, sit your five dollar ass down before we make change. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, hold, hold up. up. I'm worth more than five dollars. As a matter of fact, like, hey, hey, subscribers, are you only worth five dollars? Like, are y'all gonna let him talk to you like that? Gonna let him talk to you like that? <laughs> that ain't what he said. <laughs> <laughs> he said. I mean, he said. He said that shot was only five dollars. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, the going rate is forty dollars. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, forty dollars get you a long way. These yeah, days. I mean, shout out to forty dollars get you where? Get, to, get you what? Shout out to Backpage. Uh, hello. What? If y'all remember Backpage? Oh shout Lord, y'all talking about prostitution? Lord. No, we uh, here on here this John podcast, <laughs> we do not, um, uh, we do not um, indulge 
and any types of prostitution. And, and, and so I, a prostitution ring. Yeah, we don't yeah, know what I mean. she's talking about. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she watched the news or something. Speaking of which, I think I gotta pay my prostitution bill. Oh uh, Lord! <laughs> before I get cut off. <laughs> yeah. No more coochie for you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so wait a minute, hold up, R- real quick before we start the video, man. Look, hey, CJ, you you ever you ever pay for some uh, some coochie? Uh, so. <laughs> As a no, so as a young and I used to always uh, combat this. I will always say I never paid for no no yamskis. I've never done that. It's just not my thing. But then when I think about it, the meals, the the gifts, all of that stuff, technically. You paid. You, I paid. Not so, really. If you bought it out of the kindness of your heart, like I mean, but I if knew you did what it. I was buying it for. I was, I was <laughs> buying it to eventually fault, get the yams. <laughs> okay, can I get to the yams? Like I, that's so, what I bought it for. So technically, I didn't pay for it directly. It's kind of like when you go to those like cabarets and stuff, and they don't yeah, have a liquor yeah. license, and you buy the ticket, and then take the ticket. And get the liquor. You don't just buy the liquor straight up. So it's kind of one of those deals. I I I, I was tr- doing it to get the yams. So technically, I did. Yeah, so what about you, Lowe's? Yeah, you, 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 you done had CJ answer the question. Yeah, I know. What yeah, about hell you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never oh, paid he, straight he up. Loud hell and yeah, proud with more. it. He loud and proud <laughs> with it. Man. Hell yeah. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. <laughs> You don't pay a hoe to stay. You pay a hoe to leave. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, oh my hey, gosh. listen, I'm going to need you to take that money right there on the we, dresser. You know what I mean? Money, Close uh, that door on your way out. <laughs> we need a little money sound. <laughs> <Cha-choo>. Yeah. <laughs> I need you to close that door on your way out. <laughs> so, wait a minute. So Don't you even try to put ha- that over here. Have you ever had <laughs> payments? <laughs> have you ever paid for yams? Hell no. <laughs> First of all, Yo, that's I wild. told y'all before, I don't even go that way. As I said before, strictly dickly. But have you ever paid? And number paid? two, no, I don't pay for dick. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Uh, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. Maybe I should have put it this way. I'm trying to say have you ever paid for the carrot? <laughs> yes, yes. No. Maybe I should have put it that way. Hell no. Just you not. mean tell me, never in your life you say, hey, listen, yeah. you, you blew my back out pretty well, so yeah. I'm going to make sure that you got a little money in your pocket. Here's the ticket. No. Yeah, I made for the bus ride. Like paying take, a dude take this money. Hun- no. What? Take this hundred dollars, go get you a haircut. Top. <laughs> that, that's no. what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Uh, not doing oh, did that camera go out of your- Yes, it did. All right, so we working on the one, only on one kid. That camera probably overheating over there, Let's which see. I don't know why. Oh, it is a little yeah, it's a little hot, a little, little warm, but it's all right. All right, so we're gonna work. We're gonna work this camera. So, so look, I gotta get close to make sure he get in frame over here. I can see you. I can see you. So never ever have you. And no way in the world I'm anybody sugar mama. No way in the world do I want a sh- sugar daddy. No, no, thank you. Shoot. Now listen, God. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> If yeah, there's a sugar mama out there, yeah, you want to be the mama to this sugar. <laughs> yeah, I'm Call sad. me if you need someone to <laughs> talk to. <laughs> Call me satisfaction <laughs> guarantee. <laughs> Shoot, I don't, yeah, don't act like you don't know that song, goddamn. Man, I, let me get my I clothes. feel offended. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why? What, Real no, quick, everyone, you why? know what? It's funny. I was a cougar maybe like twice. Until I thought about it, I'm like, damn, wait a minute, he my son age. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Anyway. He was any- just so immature, though. <laughs> just so <laughs> immature. Anywho. <laughs> Look. Shall, shall we slide to the first video? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. First video, do that, you agree? That, that, that was a warm up. That was yeah, a, that, that was a prelude to an encore. You know, that was an appetizer mm. to, to, to your poor course meal. Okay. Yeah, I mean, agree or disagree? Stephen A. Smith explains why it's better to date a 7 out of 10 than a 10 out of 10. Mm. Mm. I mean, this is a bit peanut at, God damn it. It's Bitch Jump Podcast. Aww. Let's go. There's no man alive that would disagree with what I'm about to say. You want a strong 7. Let me tell you why. 10 Fine is all get out, tat out, body, looking fine, everything like that. Got it going on. Too much maintenance. Too much. Because she knows she's fine. And you're expendable. She could take you or leave you. A nine. That's a problem, too. Because you got enough people telling her she's a ten, so half of them acting that way. 
And by the way, the ones that ain't acting that way still require more from you than what others might. And so you got to be up on your game. That's problematic. Eight, that's ideal because that's really, really good looking. She got it going on. But at the same time, there's a level of independence that comes with it, which is never a bad thing. Until she's so independent that she's making you feel like you need to be more dependent on her than she needs to be on you. So there's too many opportunities and too much time that's wasting away where you're not feeling like that dude. You're feeling like a dude, not that dude. Here's where the strong seven comes in. Looks why she can compete with an eight. But her mentality is not that of an eight. So she's more appreciative of you wanting her. As a result, she shows an elevated appreciation for you wanting her. Therefore, she treats you like she wants you. On seven, that's somebody who is an eight, but don't act like one. That's what makes her special. Those are the ones that are married. The others... Long engagements, quick marriages and divorces, or just perpetual singlehood. Because they spent so much time showing you that you were expendable that you finally looked at them and said, well, that's why I don't want your ass, because I'm expendable. You're going to dump me anyway when it's time. Why waste my time? Did I not break that down? I believe I did. Hey, get yourself a strong seven. Man. Let, uh, first of all, the lady go first. Yeah, I'll let her go. Go ahead. According to whose standards, like, okay, his seven might not be like, you can have somebody that's a quote unquote three and can have so many men and options that's considered expendable. So what is he talking about? So when it comes to, I don't, I don't agree. And I know y'all go by this. I don't agree <laughs> by y'all mail, y'all rating system. And I know according to, to, CJ about the marketplace and all that. Yes. But mm -hmm. okay, I really honestly think it depends on the person's makeup, their background, you know, their lifestyle, what they what they lived. Like it has nothing to do with a man's rating system. Like I can consider myself a 10 or a man can, can rate me a 10 and, and I'm just throwing a number out there, right? But I can have the mentality of a three. That's what he's talking about. He's talking it's not more about the looks. He's talking about the mentality. Yeah, I just, I, I, for me, you know, I normally go with the brothers, but I just don't understand. Like, he's basically saying that all tens are high maintenance and they know they got, you know, everybody at their feet. So they act a certain way, which I don't really, I don't really believe that. Because, again, I know a bunch of fours that act like they Tony Braxton and Holly Berry. Like, <laughs> I just do. And I'd be looking like, you got to act your, you got to act your, what your face say. Like, you're not that cute. Yeah, listen, let me, let me tell you so, something, man. I, me? Give me two fives, man. That's your 10 right there. <laughs> Damn. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Give me two fives, boy. He's saying it get, like. Listen, get you a couple of twos. <laughs> you get you your, on top of the world. You're a pimp. <laughs> I, what? I just, I like. A couple of twos. Like, for him to say, like, he, it was like he was saying, like, sevens. Because they know they sevens. Like, what is the need mm -hmm. to go by this rating system, period? Like, why you can't just accept a woman for who she is and not just say, okay, you but know what? You I can only deal with a woman that's a six and above. No, because because if she's act if she's acting like an a hole, a nine or ten, or not, a you got twos that acts like they act not, like a holes. But, what do you mean? But where, where women where, where women feel to realize is that men, it's not the only characteristic or attribute but it is very important and it is your physical appearance now again it is very subjective because yeah 10 my 10 might be different from losa's 10 right but yeah. for the majority yeah. again rihanna is not in the majority of men's category rihanna is no no less than an eight in majority in the majority of men's category Halle Berry is probably no less than an eight or nine. So there is some standard. I, I get Halle Berry. But nine. is that based on looks? Y'all yes. don't know. Y'all don't know Rihanna. You don't know Halle we Berry. Don't, we don't care. You don't know them personally. We, we don't care because the uh, <laughs> our, our original <laughs> attraction. You only 
go by what they show you on TV. But, but, the, but the thing about it is the, the the reason, the number one reason that men are attracted to women is their beauty. Cause that's the first thing you see. I don't know her anymore. Cause again, if, I give a, those are some beautiful women. And again, right, I if, give it to him. If, yeah, that's if, true. If, but you got also got some beautiful women and men that are at, that are a holes. Yeah, but that's and, our initial that's our initial touch point with a woman is if she looked like Oscar the Grouch, we're not even we're not even <laughs> we're not even entertaining her because she's just hey, not attractive. Hey, hey, you, listen know what, listen some, you know what? It's listen crazy. bro. Listen, I, I, some of them unattractive you, get, people that are the nicest five, and most yeah, kindest and people. And guess so five twos. And, and guess what? You they, good to go. They are nice and that's beautiful. But guess what? If I'm out somewhere. I'm not looking for Oscar the Grouch. I'm just not. I want somebody who is going to attract. I'm going to. Some she's eye gonna, candy. Yeah, she's going to attract yeah. me because of her beauty. That's just how we're we're made up. Now, we'll get into the personality and all that stuff once we get there. But in the beginning, my first initial attraction is, oh, God damn, she is fine. And that has to do with her beauty. Yeah. So that's where the rating system starts. But it doesn't end there. And if you end it there, then of course you yeah, shallow. So it out. sounds like it's just so many levels to this quote unquote rating system. Like no, I don't the rating really system is why basic, you go by because the rating system is the initial point in the initial starting point. Is she beautiful? Is she a three? If she's a three, then it's not. It, it's, it's probably not going to work because you I know mean, that, and it always goes back to your physical attraction of her. Yeah. Again, if you're not, if you're a man and you like uh, BBWs, when you see uh skinny old money long money long is a beautiful woman but if you're not attracted to money long you like bbws she's just not going to be for you no matter what her personality is because you're attracted physically to something else and that's just how men that's our makeup it always falls back i know guys who have been in arguments with their women and just because Physically, she's so attractive. He's looking at her like, you know what? So you just saying All that right. us women, we're just a little bit more accepting of y'all men and y'all flaws. And no, y'all, y'all, oh, y'all, no, 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 no. Y'all attraction, <laughs> no. Y'all attraction is based differently. Y'all are not physically like, yeah, you physically look at a man, he might be attractive to you, but that's not one of the weighted standards yeah. for you guys. Y'all can look past that. Most men cannot look past. The physical nature of the woman because and her it, beauty. because it is it is the beauty that that gets us yes but it's the mentality that keeps us right okay. you know what I'm saying so like, like he, Stephen said if you get yourself a strong seven a strong seven has the mentality of a six but she thinks she has the beauty but she is an an eight that's what make her a strong seven but the that's the, the, the nines and the tens they they are high <laughs> maintenance. They're high maintenance. I mean, shit, man. You want what makes a woman that's a seven that's not high maintenance? They are, you I can, tell you, yeah, twos you can, can be high maintenance. You yeah. just, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it just doesn't, that whole rating system just doesn't make sense. It's just that in our belief, as a two, you need to humble yourself, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you need to have a two attitude. Yeah, a, a two mentality. Yes, you have to be, understand that you are two, okay? The, the goldfish don't swim with the sharks. They just don't. Yeah. So you have to understand that. And some women, because no disrespect, women will tell other women, girl, you is fine. You is this. And not understanding that when you go out into the market, please, you're not judging mm -hmm. yourself. The market we're is supposed to do that. We are women. We're supposed to empower each other. And, so, yes, we're but supposed listen, to hold on. Now. Well, you know, damn well, y'all women do not empower no, each no, other. But listen, <laughs> the, only, the only time women come together. It's a gang up on a gang up on a man, but other than that, women will bully mail each bash. other. But yes, listen, no bad because y'all will bully each other. Y'all yep. talk shit behind I each mean, other back. Y'all can empower each other, but what y'all need to do is you need to tell your friend when she when her, that outfit she got on is trash. <laughs> okay, when I'm going somewhere, my homies be like, CJ, comb that beard. Your beard looking crazy, bro. First of Appreciate all, it. It. and and, and all, hold up, she's hold your up. friend. Hold she up. will and, tell you. And us men. Oh, we just like I said, we will let a brother, yo, my guy, you ain't going nowhere yeah, with me crazy. with that shit on, dog. <laughs> Hell no, dog. If you don't take that shit in the crib, yeah. I'm spinning off without Bro, you. Yo, yo. Y'all women, y'all know damn well she ain't going to be wearing that dress. That's the difference between somebody that's your true friend and somebody that's like, oh, well, you know what? If she look a hot mess and I know I look good, then all the guys is going to come in and holler, and holler at me. Look, that's how girls think. I didn't see girls out in the club <laughs> and they know damn well they friends. 
friend look crazy. Well, that and they will be yeah, friend. girl. It's uh, not their friend. Uh, 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 oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. He's like, no, no, no. No. She should have oh. she should have told her to take that that BS That's off. Right. That's what y'all do. Yeah. Okay. Any, as you always say. Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, tell mm-hmm, us what you think. Mm-hmm. Shit. Yeah, shall we start to the next video, y'all? Let's go. This is what we got. Next video. Video number two. Single mother on TikTok says the U.S. government is her baby daddy. Hey, here we go. That's my baby wait, wait. daddy. Repeat That's that again. Name. Say it okay. again. Say that. Okay, I'm going to repeat it again. Oh, let me get my I, I get the mic so I he get closer. He got you close. I got closer. Single mother on TikTok says that the U.S. government is her baby daddy. Y'all pre- I'm pretty sure y'all going to be shocked when y'all see this. Yes, Look. sir. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut. Let's let Peanut get you. It's the Storm Podcast. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> I've said it before and I will say it again. The government is my baby daddy. The minute that they took my right away to decide if I wanted this little crotch goblin or not was the minute that they took over the role of my baby daddy. That's the minute they took on the role of paying for my formula, of providing food in my house, and for that tax refund. Mm-hmm. Because the government is our baby daddy. We love baby daddy Uncle Sam. Thanks for all your help. You make it so we can eat. And I will be using any government assistance that I can because the government is my baby daddy. Yeah. Hello, oh, y- y- y'all want me to start this one over? Y'all? You want to start it? Yeah. So Real quick. Number one, I'm pretty sure when y'all heard government baby daddy, y'all probably thought it was a black woman. I was so, <laughs> so happy that that was not one of our women. That baby's so cute, that though. That was number one. Number two, the only other thing I got to say before you start is when she said baby daddy uncle sam that is so wild that sounded baby super daddy, incest but mm-hmm. go ahead this ain't baby. she said baby daddy uncle sam like, whoa thank Let you for the this. diapers that's what she said the white All- privilege shows its true colors exactly <sighs> real quick was that a black baby was that, was that a black baby that baby is creamy so yes that baby got some black in him so yes yeah that skin tone the cheek the blue eyes come from the mom but that baby was creamy that baby has some 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 cream in him, meaning some black in him. That baby looked like he already lived a lifetime. Look, he looked like he so came cute, out with a though. credit rating of a seven fifty. Oh Lord! He can't. <laughs> that baby, he can't look like an old man. He like I'm tired. <laughs> he looks like tired. he looked like at the baby shower. He got a bunch of uh, crown royal bags with pennies in them. That's what he got. <laughs> <laughs> but he was so cute. But his name to her, probably to Leroy mom, Jerome. Get some skills. Get a job. Okay, because she'd be probably one of the first people talking about us colored people on in the system. So mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. get off, get off the welfare, mm-hmm. get a job, because at the end of the day, what you going to do when when the welfare cuts you off? Then how you going to take care of that baby? Because it ain't forever. But have then another. again, they do know how to milk the system. I don't know how they do that crap. They but, have hey. one every seventy years. But you know how they know? They know how to milk the system. They created the system. system. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you took the words right out. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> they created. That's how they, they know, know how to milk the system. All right. Again, we make up fourteen percent of the country. So you think that we make up the majority of people? That just logically, if you know the law of averages, law of numbers, it does not make sense. Eighty-six percent of people who are on welfare are not people of, of African the, descent. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See the Caucasian persuasion. They know, they know how to milk the system. But if I was a daddy, I'm like, I wish the f- you would put my son on that on this this ticky tock. We'd be right at child. We'd be at a uh, custody court. Whoa, the next day. what? See the stuff my she doing? Yeah, I'm gonna need my yeah, young man. Talking about Uncle Sam, the baby daddy. You know, I'm like, I where, made this. First pipe of all, in where you. is the real baby daddy? That's who should be helping her, and she should be uh, contributing to her lifestyle too, not the government. She because at the end of the day, that's my damn taxes. If she lived here in Philly, that's my taxes that you that's that's taking care of you and that child. Like, nope, I'm not going to sit here listen, so, and work so in the and, cha- and did to to pay uh-huh. for your lifestyle. Uh-huh. So in the uh-huh. chat, uh, quick uh-huh. said, but oh, we missed that one statement. Once the government took her rights to decide to have a child or not, so I do understand what she's saying, like. If she doesn't have the choice to get an abortion or not, then, yeah, the the government does become her baby daddy, which I'm all fine and well. If you if you making women have babies, 
against their will, then yeah, the government you should have to pay for. Them. So I do agree with that. But no, the, but you know, but see, it's not it's not that the government is taking no, away rights to have baby. She, Hold on, the, she not, didn't lay down not, with not, the government, had it, sex with the government. Young cats aren't making babies, so they not they not giving into the economy. They not putting money into the economy. They want to bring the family together. I don't know about that. It's true. The economy, the economy is screwed. Yeah, we do. Yes, they're not making they're babies. Not. The, these young, these young fellas, they like, oh no, I ain't having no kids because you you get screwed if you having kids. Child support, uh, child support is yeah because is, they get is, is they, they, they they take them to to town when it comes to the child support. You but can take them to the cleaners. But, see, but you know what? That's because of the females that they lay with. If they are more well, they selective all, they, they with the women that they. <laughs> That they lay down with, they ain't got to have no problem. Hey, when you see that hole. See? Yeah. <laughs> you lose control. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all go in yeah, that, that hole. Y'all go in like, that big uh, butt. Uh, you know, all y'all see is that butt. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, hold up, wait a minute. Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean, again, I, I, I understand that, that point. I mean, because again, I, sex is a thing. Everybody has sex, so it's never going to stop. Um, being selective or being being a, aware of the repercussions of sex, which of course can be STDs or children, mm -hmm. that people need to be more aware of that. But they're aware; they just don't want to. They just don't want to make that conscious decision at that at that time or moment. It's like okay, it's like they let the physical aspect take over the emotional. But even in that in that in that context, do you not believe that people should have the right to to a Abort children? Yeah. I don't know if we can say that on here. No, yeah. Well, smushmortion, yeah. as they said on uh, all them smushmortions. Yeah. So it's like, do you not? Do you believe that people should have the right to have a, a smushmortion if they, you know, if something happens? You know, I I believe they should. I believe they should. But like I said, the economy is messed. They want a lot of the of our younger generation to have families because the, the economy, the economy is so called is projected to be bad. Because a lot, a lot, a lot of people aren't having children anymore, and we, we, and we all know the reason why a lot of uh, the men aren't having children because we get taken to the cleaners. Yeah, that's the reason that's why we what have. That's the reason men. why we have. Like take, men don't have babies; it takes two to tango. So no, he means yeah, but, like but being, men uh, aren't being a in father. Being a father, men and we aren't in control of the court system. That's true. And it, there's a law. I forget. I. I if we had this topic come up again, it's the states get incentives um, for child support. For child support, yeah. Title four D. Everybody, look at this. Called Title four D, which means every dollar that the state collects in child support, the federal government will Sub match. Yeah, that. like subsidize it. Yeah. So that's the reason why the men get taken to the cleaners at yes. child support court. Yeah, you know I mean, so no matter how rich or how poor you are, that custody battle is going to be a damn near a losing battle. Because they want you, they want you to pay child support. I think it's like over eighty percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless the mother is, is a cuckoo bird, <laughs> and not even that. I'm, t I'm talking like uh, 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 drug abuse, um, physical abuse, physical family. abuse, child abuse. You aren't winning in family court. You you aren't winning. Period. You, you you're not going to win because they want that money. If they see that the father is a good provider, they going to tax the father. Shit, ching. Period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I've, shall we say that? I've heard too many males that said that. About the best you can get is 50 50 coverage, uh, Eight, custody. $800 and, every two weeks. And I advise every man. My heart was hurting. To get that 50 50 custody. Go go get your child. Look, you, are, you are pivotal I got in you. your child's life. You need some stubs. I got you. Uh, <laughs> um, we do not condone. <laughs> there she go, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This your own podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Shit. Like, was, tell us what you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, are we signed the video? Are we yes, on video number three? Number, number three. Uh, number three. Video number three? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is what we got. Video number three. A woman rejects her boyfriend's marriage proposal after 10 years of dating. Come around with the fellas on this one. I do, man. Got let's, see what, let's see what they got to say. Let's see what they got to say. It's this jump podcast. Oh, yeah. Let's go. So let me, let me show y'all something, world. I just literally Don't proposed. I ain't gonna record you because that's up. Like I just proposed 
So my That's girl, my, years, so yeah, we've been together. Yeah, we've been together for ten years, and I just proposed to her, and she just sitting here and just looking at the ring. You just sitting here looking at it. Into, you ain't taking me out to dinner or nothing, no type of little setup, bro. Why well, do it? But, but, flowers, it, nothing, just this. But, thing. God, but and then after ten years, Crystal, no. you said you wanted to be want married. It. I don't want. It. I went out and yeah, bought this like way. Five years ago, I don't want that shit. Not take you another five years to roast me. No, I don't want. What it. you mean? So ten years? Look, ten years to me, that, that 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 tells me if I want to spend the rest of my life with you. It don't take you ten. Years? People true colors. People true years. colors don't be coming. Like, I gotta it see your true colors. It do take people ten years. Everybody not the same. No, don't. Like, I don't get it. What you talking about? Like, no, so really you really, so you really don't want you don't, no, don't want to marry me. So you finna break up with me because I got you a ring ten years later? What type of thought is this? We in the car. What you mean we in the car? Like. It don't matter where you get proposed to, as long as you get proposed to. I don't want that shit. Can you stop recording me? I'm not going to stop recording because you're unappreciative, and I want to show the world how unappreciative my girl is. Like, I understand right now. Like, you got a whole, like, you know how much I spent on this ring, and you complain about where I'll propose to you at? That's what you complain yeah, about? in the car. It's no type of thought into it, and then it's been 10 years. I don't want that shit now. It took you 10 years? Okay, everybody not the it. same. Maybe it take me ten years to realize if I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't want it. That's crazy. Like I don't be under. I don't get you. Like you, do you so much? You finna leave? Where you finna go? Where you finna go? Yeah. First of all, she's a I dumb ass for even staying that long. Ain't no way in the world I'm staying no ten years. If you knew at nah, this nah, point, nah. ten years later, that you didn't want it, when you would have, if if it was five years ago and you realized y'all had that conversation and he wasn't doing something, she should have left. I'm gonna ask, but keep she on explaining, left. cause I. If I if I give you the ring, I should I give you the ring and I make the marriage proposal and you tell me no, oh yeah, I'm out. They, I ain't gonna get to keep arguing with games. you. Ain't no way in hell I'm gonna stick with some guy for ten years, five years after we had a discussion, just to sit around and wait for you to propose, and then when you do propose, then I'm just gonna reject it. So obviously you must got somebody else she playing with. Yeah, yeah. And so she got L somebody she right. playing with. And then now he's serious. So now the role's done reversed. Nah, L Book said the right man run. That should get out of jail free car here's, run. Here's my thing. This is the thing that bothers me. Why do we consistently see these videos? Why why does any of that matter? The fact like not the ten years part, but the fact that he had the ring and he was in the car. This is the part that like burns me up the most. If you really love someone, why does it matter how they propose? Why yeah, does, why it, does it any of that matter? It can like, be in a car, you can be in a restaurant. I don't it don't matter. Like, how many, because again, I say this all the time. How many proposals are you getting in your lifetime? You might know, get one. May, you might get listen, two. She may, she may have a couple proposals lined so up. So to me, it's like, if you really love a person, why does any of that matter? It's like life insurance. You get life insurance. or I mean, you get car insurance just in case some shit happens. So like... For me, it's like, why does it matter why, how he did it? Or you, you should just be happy you got that. Yeah. Now, again, I'm not saying that he shouldn't have waited 10 years because it don't take you 10 years to figure out if you want to marry somebody. Man, it take about three to six got, months. She, they know. She, we know. We, we know. She got dick insurance. She got something lined up. <laughs> oh, on the side. She got dick look, I'm telling you, she do. Yeah, she got somebody else lined up. For her to respond like that and for her to react like that, she definitely I'm got another. She got somebody dude. lined up. She definitely got it's another. Dude and the whole boy, he didn't peep it. He should have peeped it. Yeah, first and see, all. that be the problem. And and this is from experience. Guys don't realize what they have, or maybe shall I say, they do realize what they have. However, they don't think that it's going to leave. And then when they realize, like, oh, wait a minute, she getting distant. Now, all of a sudden, you want to step up. But then it's like, now you want to step up, and it's too late. But, so, but no, it's, like, it's, it's just like a whole it's a whole game. But look like, look at what look at what yeah. Jalil said. He said maybe his paper wasn't right to propose earlier. That A lot of men don't want to propose when they don't feel like they are at the they level that they right. want to be. That's, that's I don't want to just propose to you just because you want it. I want to be able to say, hey, this is my woman. I can take care of her the way she deserves to be taken, taken care of. Because it's like, I give you the ring, and now as wife, you like, well, you this need to be done. This And you like, well, damn, I, yeah. I ain't there but, yet. But what he should have said, instead of arguing with, man, I ain't, 
First of all, I'm First of all, not, why I'm you bringing why, bring why you bringing why you bringing the phone now and recording? Yeah, exactly. I'm not like, that. That's this like, generation. What, that? what, what I would have said, this yo, listen, that, my, this, this generation, my shit wasn't right. Now I feel though that my shit is right, so I'm proposing to you. Like but, they should have, they should have kept but, that whole conversation intimate between yeah, the two but, of them. Well, but just like just, the we, we wouldn't have a show if everybody did that. Exactly, exactly, exactly. But what what I would most men because I know I I did it. When I knew I was ready, I said, oh, yo, I'm going to marry this girl. But her ass wasn't ready. That's, yeah. that's, what, that's why I'm divorced now. Oh, damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I'm divorced now. But hey. And yeah. uh, so again, like, yeah, I think that at the end of the day, fellas, you got to know who you proposing to. Because the woman that I'm with, she's not going to care if I proposed on the moon or if I proposed in the, in the damn sewer, and then and and then also <laughs> also T maybe deep down he knew that this wasn't the right woman, but he probably got tired of of dating that's all what these I'm other women. So yo, I'm gonna settle so with this for the wrong years. reason. Yeah, so I'm gonna marry. Yeah, he probably did the wrong reason. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so so like he had to be playing in the beginning. If you if you doing this for ten years and now all of a sudden it's like it seems like he's settling. That's what it seems like. It seems like he's like all right. Well, you know what. You know, a time is going by. I ain't getting no younger. Let me just go ahead and just do it. Who's to say that it's like, OK, like I said, he might see or realize that she's becoming distant. He may be getting some kind of benefits. No, from her. I, I ass wasn't distant. He just ain't he just ain't see the signs or maybe he just felt, he did. I just think he just probably didn't care. He, he probably was he like, was man, doing his own dirt. He probably like, man, 10 years my other yams and dried up and right. got married on me. <laughs> right. I'm out, I'm out to marry these yams right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. So, hey, listen, listen, it, shorty, I got this Walmart ring for you right here. You want to uh, take, you wanna take this? <laughs> oh, you don't want to get married right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he like, shit, my yams okay. and dried up. I know, a lot of, I know a lot of guys who have said that the reason why they didn't get married, why it took them so long is because they just wasn't where they want it to be so i mm -hmm. do think that that can be yeah a I've, I've heard of that and then now, sometimes what happens is then the guys they end up missing out on the one and then it's like damn you know what she done moved on because it's like okay if you're not communicating that to her or whatever and then she goes and moves on and then it's like okay now you want to just like revisit that years later no you can't do that you got to communicate like if if she really means that much to you communicate maybe she'll understand if she really likes you that much she'll understand and she'll stick around and she'll help you but why she can't she'll help you grow why she can't communicate why she can't say hey what's the reason why you you don't want to get married to me why she can't oh, oh you know what that's a good point maybe she didn't communicate that or maybe, or that's, I'm that's gonna give the whole T the stigma, benefit like, of the doubt. Maybe with that whole stigma, we shouldn't. Maybe. As, as women, we should not approach men with that topic to an ex, to an extent if we want to be women about it. And Man, that bullshit. stigma is the reason why women nah, are alone. No, no. Communication is a two way street. That's so true. It's, it's not just again. I, I'll just speak for uh, our community. How many black men have been in an environment where they've been around a married woman or man? So a lot of black men are coming from inexperienced they don't even know how this goes they've never been privy to this so it's all new and i think that that's when communication Look, said, women always communicate when they want to get married and and that's that's okay. partly true that because not true. a lot of times okay quick we're gonna move on quick no no men be saying that they feel pressured no, that's not so true. It's like, no. Is, no it's no. not true what i'm gonna tell you what it is. i'm gonna tell you what is from their situation i'm gonna tell you what is from their situation that, listen, she getting a carrot from another man. She definitely is. She, and definitely when is. when he proposed to her at that moment, she said, "Oh hell no!" Right? Because I'm getting my black my back blown out by Tyrone. No, I ain't right. marrying you. Is a female based on her response yeah. and how she was moving? Exactly. And, and she, she said, your, "And she said your fingernails dirty." Oh, she go get it from Tyrone <laughs> <laughs> and watch your broke ass be on yeah, the. On the watch she it. said, "You gonna do that in a car?" Yeah, no. I ain't this go, your, he like I don't feel like this. Go with your crooked ass wig. Go, go you better take this goddamn ring. Go get it from Tyrone <laughs> and go sleep your ass on the yeah, air mattress man, on the floor. This John podcast. Ooh. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. <laughs> spice. Well, we, had, we had number. We had number. We had no. We had number four. Number four. I'm yep. lost track. Number four. Yeah, four. Oh, T. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, <laughs> spicy habanero. 
Look, I am spicy so. tonight. I, Look, I, I, I'm I am tonight. amazed that she ain't say nothing nasty tonight. I'm chilling tonight. You know, you know how you know how she be. Look, <laughs> <laughs> don't get me started. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we don't want to. Yeah, I said, Miss John after. Yeah, time. Miss over there, get your bed ready. <laughs> Damn. Look, All right, anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to be on my, my best behavior tonight, y'all. Like, look, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be good. I done turned yeah. over another leaf. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, she can turn it. She took a whole we lawn. Need gunshots right she done turned over a whole lawn. By <laughs> <laughs> oh, the way, is this it? Well, anyway, is he right or wrong? <laughs> uh, a pregnant girl responds after her baby daddy asks for a DNA test <laughs> while in the delivery room. Yeah, that's hand. <laughs> Penis. It's your podcast. Aww. Let's go. I'm over here in the hospital, y'all. Finna give birth to his child. And he over here questioning me, talking about, is this really his baby? Like, what are you talking about? Do you really think I'm sitting here have you up here at the hospital and everything with me just for nothing? Are you serious right now? What kind of baby dad does that right when we finna have this baby? Like, are you serious? You really gonna see her question, baby? Talking about, oh, can you get DNA tests? No, you're not getting no DNA tests after this. I'm not doing that. This is your child. If you don't believe it's your child, then you could go ahead and go. I don't need you up here. Because all you're doing is stressing me out. Yeah, we are finna find out. And that's so weird for you to even be saying that, though. Why would you even say that? You don't never want to claim your kids. Why you never claiming your kids? Like, I don't even be, I don't be doing none of that cheating stuff or none of that. What, like, what are you doing? Bro, like, I'm, t- I'm sick of that. And you know what? I'm not even going to say nothing, bro, because I'm not getting no DNA test. So if he, he don't think it's his child, he just won't have a child. We don't we don't really need you over here. He is stressing me out. Like, look at me. I look a mess right now. And you over here doing all this extra stuff, stressing me out right now, talking about you and DNA test. Okay. You're going to get your DNA test. You can really go ahead and go. Nah. All right, let me slip. But wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to start this one all Hold up. Okay. I let y'all tell. I'm gonna start right, this one off. Right, God I got damn you. It. I got you. For one, he don't need her consent for a DNA test. All you gotta do is tell the doctor, let me get a DNA test. Period. Two, she looked like a cheater. I'm sorry. She How like do a, somebody she, look like a man, cheater? Man, them, them, them fucking eyelashes, man. <laughs> <laughs> them fucking eye, them minute. eyelashes. Wait a minute. Them eyelashes say cheater, cheater, cheater. Whatever. <laughs> this is another man child. <laughs> Because but since you're eyelashes? since you're a good provider and make a lot of money, like I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put on you. First of all, this chick said you'll never take care of none of your kids. If you know that, you dumb for even getting pregnant by this. And, and she slept with him, but you she still for getting but she still him. let him chop her dumb. down. Yeah, I mean, it, so when she thought, I, you know what? That's what I hate. I remember when I was younger, like girls used to always say, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna get pregnant by him." Like, oh what? what? Whoa, 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 whoa! Yes, whoa, I've heard whoa, whoa, whoa. that. They should say that. Yes, yes. I've heard that, that was the whole thing. You heard yeah. that? Right? Yes, yeah. I've heard that. The girls used to think if you get pregnant and have a baby by a dude, that would keep him. It's like, okay, yeah, if I get pregnant by him and we get to have a baby, he's gonna always be my boyfriend. Think about it. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> yes. I was what? At, I was at a college DJing, open enough for Trey songs. Now again, do I know Trey songs? Hell no. I'm just paid to open up as the DJ. Mr. Year, I get off the I get off the stage. Yeah. This girl acts like she passes out. So we get a chair, we pull it to the side, we get our water. Sitting there and giving her the water. I'm like, yo, you alright, you good? She looks up, she like, yeah, I'm cool. She like, you think I can have your baby? Wow. Oh my God. I'm like, wow. Says you that don't was know bold. me. I'd be like, from no, anywhere. but we could practice. Bold. <laughs> I'm like, you don't know me from nowhere. Like, what would make you say that? So I've heard that before. Cause she Plenty thought she, times, she saw dollar like, signs. It's just like, again, the timing was a, a, a. Listen, if I was him, I wouldn't even said nothing to her. I would have run right to the doc, yo. Doc. Yeah, right, right to the doc. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna having. Go. I'm having a little mixed signals here. And, and, I'm a spiteful dude. I, I would say the n word, but I ain't. You know, I mean, Petty Murphy. Yeah, I, I'm. Oh, oh, I can leave. Oh, you tell me. I'm out. I'm, I'm deuces. <laughs> And on my way out, I'm stop. I'm stopping by the, <laughs> the nurses station. The nurses station. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna need a blood test in room 14. Um, yeah, yeah, here you go. There, my joint right there. And when the baby come you out, make sure it's mine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, you know, you said what, boy? Well, see, I ain't Man. never had those problems, and I never will. <laughs> just to be like, Mm-mm. she just was like, oh, she was saying way too much. Yeah, way basically, too much. you saying because she got them eyelashes. 
She, she a cheater. Them fucking out my eyelashes. Them eyelashes. Them, those eyelashes scream cheater. I'm trying to tell you. They scream. That whole video screen broke. This <laughs> like, <it just laughs> like, listen, it hold just on, broke. hold it on, just wait, a minute. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You are, you there. are on First your way all, to the hospital. Look, he's at the hospital with her. That says a lot. Like he exactly. could not even be there. Is, is she just stressing him out? So like she talking, she talking about like oh, if he, it's, if it wasn't that big of a deal, if she know the baby is his, just say you know what, fuck it. Like look, I'm in pain. I'm going through labor. Yeah, you can have the damn blood test because like, she know the baby. Know the, baby the the baby may not be his, and that's my whole thing. If you know the baby is his, what's the stress about? Right. Just take the test, and when it come back positive, smack the shit out of him. Like <laughs> keep it moving. <laughs> hey, man, look, my brother, you on child support if you want to. Yeah, like, my, my oh, brother, yeah, you, your kid, you, 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 you may have dodged the bullet, my brother. <laughs> Might have. We'll see. But well, listen, I mean, look. Don't you know that all, that over thirty percent. Uh, I don't be don't be egging loads on he no nah, nah, over thirty percent of these these false paternity tests they the, the, the girls be lying oh lying, yeah I know that yeah, yeah. man yeah. Get, get the, whoa, look man look. I'm trying to I was like that a kid ain't mine because I, I put know a it, guy I put it on your forehead I know a guy that up. found out strap up. after the child was like seventeen that it wasn't his baby after he see that's what I'm saying the what whole did, time what did what did uh my man Kanye say 18 years, 18 mm. years, and at the 18th birthday, found out it wasn't, it wasn't his. his. Crazy. It happens. So, yeah, fellas, first of all, strap up. Stop just running in these uh, abandoned buildings <laughs> with no <laughs> with no raincoats on. Yeah, y'all doing <laughs> stop, stop shooting up the club. Stay out of these bandos. Because, you know, you never know what you, you might go in a bando, you might get bit by a flea or a tick or something. Mm. Make sure the you, worse. listen, make sure, stop running in these bandos yeah. and make sure you carrying your raincoat with you. Get you a poncho. Shooting up the club. The, the, Don't the, shoot up the club. Umbrella something. <laughs> You know what I mean? just doing too much. Just, just, he just, gah, his analogy. Keep your shoot out the club. Keep your gun in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going in the yeah, club? Man, yeah, I got my, oh, you know, I got my bank. That's what they going in the club for. <laughs> no, you can mm, just go get you a drink and get out. <laughs> that's what they going in the club for. In and out, in and out, like the burger spot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this joint podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. Oh shit, I'm almost out of my motherfucking my yinglings, man. Yes, yeah. yeah, sure. Oh, uh, chocolate shit. beer. In my chocolate beer. Hey, let me say, wait, let me put the cans. Can right here? Yeah. Let's Just peep it, y'all. Let's peep it. Come holler at us, yingling. Come holler at us, goddammit. Come peep my water. Uh, yeah, what you drink? Water. water with lime. Uh, that ain't water, y'all. <laughs> it's water. What's, what's another famous that thing that water. goes with lime? Yeah. Tequila. Tequila. <laughs> Water with lime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That lime color shirt. <laughs> That's the only lime over there. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, wait, I Video number I'll five. <laughs> Video number five. Is he telling the truth or is he lying? Do breaks down just how easy men can manipulate women. Look at her. Oh, she, she, I think she's almost about to be triggered already. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's this jump. I'm good. I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. All right, ladies. I'm going to break down this method that some men use, and it's typically known as the three month rule. And before we get into it, I can speak on it because unfortunately, yes, I have done it. I know, like, I know I was a shitty ass human being for doing it. It's super manipulative, but this shit is. It's foolproof. This shit worked. And I'm taking full accountability for it. I don't live that life anymore. And if you can't change something, embrace it. So I'm going to embrace it by giving y'all the game so y'all can peep up on it. So from the first time y'all make contact, this man is giving you, boom, 100%. He'll text you first and he's consistent with it. The compliments, endless. This man is in love with you. He thinks you're the most beautiful person on the planet. He's always available. You can random face him and he's always picking up the phone. He tells you when he's going somewhere. He might even give you his location. Oh, he he might even send you some money on. And this isn't just one, two, three, no. He's consistent with it. That's the key is consistency. That's what we fall in love with, consistency. And he'll fight through the phase you're trying to play hard to get. Maybe you got certain boundaries from past relationships. He gonna respect them all. He might. He might not even try to fuck. And now you think you done got the one. You think you done got the love of your life. You so proud of yourself. Oh, I stood on business. I never settled and I finally got him. No, baby. Nah, this just a start. So now that he knows that he got you, boom, he dropping to 95%. 
But you don't notice because that, that 5%, mm, it's not too much of a difference from what he was doing. And then boom, he drops it to 90%. And some women notice it, majority of women don't. Most of the time, the delusion that you got from him putting in 100% is still, it's still in there. So y'all not really finna peep. And then boom, he drops it to 80. And you notice this one, but you're not ready to say nothing yet. You as soon as you just overthink and you don't want to self-sabotage a good relationship that you don't feel. So boom, now he drops it to 75. And you speak on this one. You reach out to me, you like, hey, what's going on? You seem a little distant. Is everything cool? You just seem a little off. Ugh, this shit is so devious. Now the man's response would typically be, I'm just dealing with a lot. When I'm going through stuff, I just like to isolate. Um, when my energy low, I just like to distance myself so it don't rub off on you. Okay, so boom, he knows you peeped the shift, so he bumps it back up to 75. And you're grateful. You happy about this 5%. You're like, oh, he's putting back in effort. I knew he cared about me. Whoop, 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 whoop. Just feeding, feeding the delusion. But to, oh boy, 5% is nothing. From 70 to 75, that's what a couple FaceTime calls today. He gonna keep chopping. It's gonna keep getting lower. You probably at 65, 60, 55% by now. You say something again and get what he do Bump it back up five more percent And you still grateful because you communicated So many changed But it's five percent shawty that's That's nothing and he's just gonna keep Chopping it at this point you at like twenty percent But you so desperate to, to get Back to that hundred percent that you thought were real You like please give me give me anything And get what he do he give you another five percent And you still happy like Do y'all do y'all catch what's going on the whole point of it is like this manipulative push and pull method. Like give you a little bit, take a little bit more. But every time he's taking, he's taking more and more away. He could give you, he could, he could be at nothing, 0%. And you will be happy with that 5%. And I'm going to give you an example just so I can peep how small 5% is. It's that random text you get. Hey, shout just just think about you. Hope your day going well. How your mama doing? It could be a random swipe up on the story. You know what I'm saying? Some hard eyes. Some, hey, you look gorgeous right here. Woo, woo, woo. Take this shit down. Woo, 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 woo. Like, the, the game has always been the game. And the only way to beat this is to believe him when he shows you who he is. A man that cares about you, he's not going a day without talking to you. There's no way that he's finna cut communication because he's going through something. He gonna, he gonna want you a part of that. But y'all know the drill, man. Like, comment, follow. Tell me what else I want to know. That's not just men. I mean, women women do the same shit too. It ain't about just it ain't about just manipulating. Why why do people gotta play games with people's emotions? And that's how people get hurt. There's two reasons physically. There's two reasons why. Because you got some crazy people out there that be like, you know what, you don't mess with my heart, and now here they come, you know, busting out tires and windows. But but but, listen, there's two reasons why something like that would happen. One, he he or she may be playing games. Two, the other person may have said or done something to make that person pull back. Like, oh, you know what? Well, I must. Be. I ain't fucking with that one. Yeah, right I there. mean, it don't always have to be the other person did something. It could just be that the person just likes it. I've met. But I said they may did maybe I've playing met game. Men that just like the fucking attention. It's like, oh, okay, you know what? They like the attention that they get from the multiple women, so they're going to be playing these mind games, be manipulative until it's like, okay. You know what? You know what? I done got enough attention from her. Let me go play with somebody else. And that's what guys do. They play them games. I don't know I about that. Be, I must be Mr. 35 percent thing because I ain't never gave 100 uh, percent according to his his rules. <laughs> yeah. said, he uh, was like 5 percent, 2 percent. Then no, I'm going to bump what? back up to another 6, 5, 6 percent. Because I guess. what he doing is playing is a game. That's a game to him. People's people's lives are not a game. Like for it's me, not. I guess my what they call me my uh, uh, unemotional Aquarius ass. I ain't did seventy five percent of that. I'm just not the guy. Like I don't know. It's just too. It's too much. Like I, when I meet a woman, I'm just genuinely myself. I'm not giving you extra texts because guess what? Five years from now, when you ain't getting those texts, you are gonna be like, "Well, CJ ain't give me them texts right. on day one, so <laughs> I ain't looking for him for, in, in day seven hundred. Like, hey, I, look, I'm she just, like, I'm she like, gonna, she like, two years ago, you said you was gonna eat my cakes. Yeah, and these cakes haven't been eaten yet. Well, in that, in that regard, first of all, I ain't eat nobody's cakes. That ain't, that ain't my lane. You did it like this. Did I text? That ain't well, my well, lane. Well, what time of the morning was that? Was it? Was, somebody was, was I drunk? Somebody must have gave me a slip me an edible because I, I definitely ain't no ice cakes. <laughs> yeah, he like he but, like I'm gonna eat it through the panty. But oh, that's why. I, but that's why I've always been that like that kind of guy. Like I've never tried to go above and beyond because when you do that, 
you have to consistently you keep up with that. Yeah. So if I'm taking you to, I mean, if I'm taking you to dinner three times a month. You're going to it. That's a, you, uh, it's but, become a standard I mean, now. I mean, when you really like somebody, you do shit like that. No, because you want to be with like them. Nobody. At, or you, you you just want to be around them all the time. Not me. Like, not yo, I got to be around you all, all the time. time. Because it's like, okay, no, like if I'm around on, you all the time. Me. No, come no, no. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. Because at the end of the day, if I'm around you all the time, it's like, okay, especially like a person like me. Like, okay, if I'm in my business room, I have things to do. I can't sit up under you all the time. I have stuff to do. So I'll like, be okay. like, I like, girl, you ain't got nothing to do, but they just do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm coming to your job. Look, I'm going to make And we're going into the closet like you just do. That's one thing. I am going to make time for. Now listen. Hey, when are you going to make your I'm going to make time for <laughs> when, it, when it comes time to take action. <laughs> You might get a couple text messages. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know hey, hey how are you? What yeah, are you like, wait a minute, you, you want something to eat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah like this. Like, what you want? Like, this. Hey, what you doing today? I'm on my way to your job you, to you, get you this. You, 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 you want me to look? You, you said, even gotta see all that. You said your pole like, hey. across the street from your job. Like, listen, you, you need something? I'm on my way. Wait, I'm at the smoothie truck. You said you was trying to get it, you know your health together, right? <laughs> I, I, I like you know, what, I'm like, hey, baby girl, what you want to eat? Well, I want some Chipotle. No, you want some no, I want some of you. <laughs> yeah. You want this taco deal? <laughs> Shit. Girl, I ain't got nothing for you today but this dick. <laughs> oh, they go, the fuck are you talking about? Oh, Shit. Listen, that's I, how I show affection. Listen, I've never been that Look, guy to go that's above and beyond. I think that most I, I think that most men that the only way I know how to show affection <laughs> is giving you this dick. <laughs> <laughs> Carla, why you don't buy me no flowers? I'll buy you this dick! <laughs> oh, man. Yo, listen. Listen. Yo, my stomach. Listen. Yo, I keep it's some, it's some, some portions of that. He's telling the truth. <laughs> That's how we all feel. Like, girl, I don't want to buy you none of these flowers. You can get this dick, yo. <laughs> oh, man. That's, a, that's true, though. But listen, look, I've I never I been that guy. I've never been that guy. I never wanted to go above it. and beyond because it's like, no, that, I'm going to have to keep this up. Yeah. So, wait, hold on. Hold on. T, let me ask you. So, they say that sex run across a woman's mind. More often than than run across a man mind is that they is that do. true? Hey, they do. They all true? freaks. I know it runs across my mind all the time. Damn, <laughs> they all freaks. Yeah, they all Look, freaks. Tila. They Tila. All, <laughs> listen, they Look, all call. freaks. She call y'all talking about what you doing today? Well, I ain't doing that. <laughs> we need to eat this gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I feel like I'm gonna bring you this twat waffle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <stop. laughs> Oh man, this is your pocket. Look, and then I'm gonna get to the point where it's like, okay, you know what? Uh, I get tired of that. You know, let me let me do what I got. to <laughs> Look, she done wore out the mic. Look at the mic hanging down. <laughs> yes, damn. <laughs> even the mic said, "God, even the, damn." <laughs> even, yeah, even the mic said she wore me out the night, y'all. <laughs> look, y'all think y'all gotta get y'all something? Look, I gotta get me some too. Boy, see. I, you know what, y'all? You know, listen, it's another me. Tuesday night, y'all. Listen, <laughs> I just know one thing. I don't have the 100%, 70%. I don't got none of that. I ain't got, listen, I'm not doing that. If I like you, I'm going to show it in my ways. But all these percentages and this and that, no, I'm not he, doing all that. No, him, he was playing too many games. That's just yeah, not, yeah. Not that's, that. that's the whole mind hey, game. Listen, him. he brought out the whole mathematical equation. <laughs> like, who's doing all that? Yeah, the, yeah, he had the whole percentages. Pie is three, three. No, like, when it comes to that, like like I said, and, and somebody else in the chat said it, like, it's true. Guys do do that. I don't know if they go to the extent of yeah. subtracting 5%, 10%, but yes, it is times where guys do that, where they start they start separating themselves for whatever reason. Who knows? They just want to swap off. Yeah, they want that. Hey, what, hey, 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 T, so hmm? don't you know when a man gives you 10% of the penis, 
You just putting the head in? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, first of all, sometimes, sometimes, depending on how it's done, the head is just enough. Whoa. Can, can any other ladies back this up? Hey. Yeah, man. Hey. Listen, we need, hey. we need, we need no, no, confirmation from the chat, y'all. No, I'm not we need saying, confirmation. I'm not saying that's all I need. I'm just saying sometimes the head is just enough to get you started. I need to know this because if I've been giving all this out all these years and all I had to do is <laughs> no, 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 save no, no, me no, a no. lot of heartache and pain. Nah. That's why you need those 15 impactful pumps. <laughs> <laughs> need more than fifteen. <laughs> well, what well they I long, need more than fifteen. What are they long, long pumps though? Like, like one. Oh man, those get you in trouble. Two. You got to think about baseball, soccer. You can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With, them, with them long ones, now you got to start thinking about chicks that's that's gonna start stalking you and stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. Oh, See, I don't know about that, that right there. So mm. shall we slide to the last yeah. video? Yeah. Yeah. Um, last one of the night. Yeah. Um, this your own podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. I mean, what we got for the last one? We have. Hey, what's this last? Oh, this last one. Uh huh. This one, this last one is should be labeled an educational video. Okay. This is why you got to use cash at a fast food restaurant. An employee films herself stealing a customer's credit Ooh. card information. Now, this shit happened to me, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Aww. Let's go. Up. Yep. Hold, hold, Yo, hold, hold, listen. Hold, hold. That shit happened to me. Look, I went to Wendy's up in Upper Darby, and I swear to God, two days later, my bank sends me a message. Somebody, somebody was on was on um East Bay trying to buy some Jordans or something. I'm like, what? Two hundred dollars? I'm like, oh no, that that is not me. Ever since then, I stopped using my bank card or credit card at um. Like Wendy's and, and, and McDonald's, those fast food restaurants. So where they got to take your card. Yep. Now where you swiping it yourself. Yep. Can, yeah. Can we? No, I don't do it. Can we bring back the term? And I hope YouTube doesn't have an issue with this. Can we bring back the term retardation? <laughs> because some people just do retarded stuff. And she's filming this shit. She's filming herself on her phone, getting somebody's credit card and, and then post it to social media. Like, what was that show? America's Dumbest Criminals or yes. whatever? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And again, I don't, I don't want to take anything away from Burger King workers because I'm pretty sure there's some young people that's starting out there, you know, their working career. That's honest. And they have that's Burger honest. King trying to do their thing. But this is why some of these dumbasses work at Burger King. <laughs> because you have to be a complete imbecile to... And then film yourself doing this. Shit. Oh my! They, this, and then upload it. This is I'm telling you, social media. So her filming herself is not the issue. The issue is that she uploaded it and she posted it and basically told on herself, dumbass. And got this, herself locked. But this is why filming it is the issue because these kids don't have the impulse control to not post it. That's the thing. <laughs> the impulse control. They don't have it. <laughs> it's anything I video, I have to post. That it's just it's just it's just common for them. So it's like, yeah, if you don't video, if you don't uh, tape yourself doing it, then you wouldn't post it. So yeah. that's the thing with th this generation. They have to post everything, everything they everything. do. Everything. So again, this video is going to last forever. So it's literally, she could be at a, a job interview and somebody, and somebody put pull in, that shit up. Shaniqua at, Burger that King, up. <laughs> Shaniqua at Burger King steals uh, credit card information. Boom. Right. Pops up right on the computer. Right. Dumb. Dummy. Like, I don't understand how retarded you 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 have to. So oh, I'm pretty sure somebody probably done told her that done gave her some game. You know, you can get these people's card numbers and do this and do that. I'm pretty sure she was probably uh, manipulated maybe some way or maybe she saw yeah, somebody no, do that. Did, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because, listen, it happened to me. Um, a buddy of mine said the same thing happened to him going through McDonald's. You know what I mean? So trust me, it, it, it's rampant. That's why I don't, I don't even go the no. When Gia be like this, I want some McDonald's. Or are we going in? Are we going inside? We going inside, and and I'm hitting the joint. I'm hitting my phone through the tap to pay. Yeah, 
It's like, come on. I, uh, this generation, y'all, y'all got to chill. Y'all making the, the feds, the but CIA. You know I even say they making the job easy. Y'all making you know what? I wouldn't even say nothing. that it's just, just this generation, like the younger generation, because pretty much now these days with social media and how social media mm -hmm. just runs everybody's lives you have older people no, i'm just talking about the whole gener the social media generation as a whole not just the young people everybody who has to post everything because that I've they seen do older people that post like literally you got to post everything you do every day all day why like yeah, why no what is the point <laughs> like, yeah i'm on the toilet <laughs> I, I, I'm driving a good one tonight, y'all. Oh my God, <laughs> it's a, it's, it's just, it's real, it's, it's real stupidity. Like yeah. it's real stupidity. Like people are choosing to, to incriminate, incriminate themselves. themselves. Yes, they do. Like stupidity. what in the? Oh my God! Stupidity. Like how's that? Anyway, anywho, anywho, you know what I'm crazy. saying? This your own podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, like, and, and subscribe. Comment. And subscribe. We want to thank y'all for joining us tonight. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yes. man. Yes, we had a late start, y'all. Yeah, we had a late thanks. start, but uh, you know, I mean, we bet, we had some technical di di technical difficulties. Technical difficulty. Yeah, I mean, but we will see y'all. Well, y'all see us on Saturday, but then we'll see y'all on Tuesday. Next Tuesday, remember, when, they, when they bullying me and again. Remember, ah, oh, here she go. If it comes to affection, what you gonna give her? This. this dick. Dick. <laughs> 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 oh, listen, thank y'all for joining. We love y'all. Peace. Deuces, man. We out. <laughs> Gia. It's this yeah. jump podcast. Oh.